Hi everyone and happy Friday night. This is Deanna. Welcome to my channel. I went out today to my Dollar Tree looking for some little containers and I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a while and um, I was surprised that there was a lot of new stuff. So I was running around just looking at everything and I found some really cute stuff that I wanted to share that I've never seen before in halls or at my Dollar Tree. So I'm going to first start off with this lace, this crocheted lace. Um, it's the beige and the white and you, I don't know how much that ends up to be, but um, you get quite a bit. And I don't have a lot of trim in my stash, so I just picked up one of each. And I just thought this would be nice for um, projects. And then I saw this, and I like using these uh, little gold, um, uh, like half circle and silver, and then there's some stars. And I think they're for nails, but I love using them for projects. So um, I just picked up one of those. They had different ones and this lasts quite a while. So I was excited to see that. And then I did, I'm just gonna get it over with, pick up some of these color vibes. I don't know if they're new or what. Um, I tested the white out at the store. I did a pretty bad job. I don't usually paint my nails, but um, I have pretty weak nails and I really do like to paint them. And I've always wanted a white. And we're heading to San Diego next week to just get some relaxation for my husband's birthday and it's really warm where we're going and i was hoping that my daughter-in-law would um, help me um, paint my nails or show me um, tricks about painting my nails um, i suck at it but that's another story and then i'll start with the boring stuff first but this is new to me it's foam um, mounting tape and they're circles, they're dots. And I thought this is perfect for when you're working on embellishments and you wanna um, add some dimension and you get 48 dots and it's double-sided tape. And I think that this is really gonna come in handy. And then I found the squares. So you can cut these down to um, what you need. And I just thought I'd give it a try. Jot always seems to make good products and you get 60 squares. So I'm excited to try those. And also from Jot, let's see here. I have a ton of stuff piled up here. Um, shipping labels, you get 20. And I can't wait to use these. I usually just take um, a permanent marker and write, and it doesn't look so pretty. And on this, I could add like a little sticker or try to make it um, a pretty swap when I mail out. And let's see. Then for the 4th of July, they had a ton of stuff out. And so I just picked up a couple things. I picked up this pen and I thought it, if I do some type of a 4th of July swap, like a loaded envelope or something, I'll have it. I don't really do a lot during the 4th of July as far as swap wise, but I thought I'd just have it on hand and then the tinsel um, food picks. And this is always so cute, like in a, to add in a loaded envelope or a hoop or 
if you make one of those caddies and you just want an extra pop of color. I think that these would be really cute. And I think, let's see, I think you just, there. So, ah. So, so cute, right? So, I only picked up one pack. Like I said, I'm not big into holiday crafting so much. Um, and I did pick up these hot dog um, holders. And I just really liked this, um, the package. And I thought that I could run this through just take them apart and run it through my die cut machine and I could die cut like I don't know I just make maybe make a stamp or um, just whatever I come up with but I thought that, that that would be good for my to keep for 4th of July and then let's see here I saw these tags. They're new to me, but I do. Um, I have seen the chalkboard tags, and I thought I'd give the pin a try. I see these, and I always think it would be really cute to add this to the package for a swap and put some, personalize it. And you can get different colors at mine, but I just wanted to try the white. So... I just got this for just to practice and see if I like it. And I bought these little tablets. They're the mini writing tablets. I am going to embellish them or um, alter them, I should say. And I have some really pretty Maggie Holmes paper. And I want one for my desk. I'm always scrambling to uh, find paper to write on and stuff. So finally, I found this perfect size. And then I thought I'm going to alter one for somebody else. But I, I just thought I'd have it for my stash. And these are new to my store. I've seen other styles, but not this type. So I'm happy to have those. And they're really cute when they're altered. Oh, and for 4th of July, I found these little mini tin buckets. And I thought it would be really cute to like fill them up with maybe some peanut M&Ms or uh, red, white, and blue M&Ms or candies. And put the cellophane around it with some really pretty little tie or just a little treat or um uh something i have never seen these before so i guess i'll be ready for fourth of july when it comes around now and then not so fun but foaming tape i like the different sizes the thin the medium and the thicker um i use this a lot on projects so i just picked up an extra one and my Dollar Tree finally got these in. And they're the cameras. And I know they're nothing new. But I thought they'd be really cute altered. Put a shaker in the middle. And I'm going to do one for my craft room. For me, I think. And then I'm going to alter one for a swap. But I was just excited to see, finally find them. I've been looking for quite a while. Now for more fun stuff, I found these and this was in the craft, uh, the crafter square by the stickers. And I thought this is going to be really pretty to do some fall, um, embellishing and they are wood and they're bigger, but I just thought that they were pretty. They had other ones, but I didn't think, I didn't like the other ones, but I just thought these would be pretty. And I think you get three in each. So, um, so that's new to me. And then I found 
these picks. And I'm not quite sure what they're for, but they're like steaks. And these are the mushrooms. And I found some frogs. Look at how, so cute. Look at the toes, the eyes. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh. I fell in love with the porcupine. Or the little hedgehog, I guess it would be. And I thought, how cute would it be to embellish him? And these would be so cute, like in uh, hoop, um, the embroidery hoop um, swaps. And you can always cut them down or you could put them in envelopes. And I was thinking you could either put paper down and um, put a button for the eye or get a googly eye or put a little black dot for his nose, put some little flowers in his hand, maybe add some character to his feet and kind of add some character to the back. And I just thought they were really cute. You could really um, let your imagination go. You can paint them. So many different things you could do with them. So you could even probably take diamond dots and um, make a little belly. And so just some ideas. And I have the rabbit and again, Maybe a little cottontail for the tail and put a little pink in the ears. And so I just, I like doing em loaded envelopes and hoops and stuff and coming up with really fun ideas. And I found snails. So I know there's a glare. It's evening time here and um, I just was wanting to get this recorded and I'm gonna have a busy weekend so and then I found this really cute adorable bag and if you watch to the end of this video I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway and I am gonna stuff this puppy full of fun treats so watch to the end to see how you can participate in winning it and there's more let's see I, I found these candies and they're called creamy delight hard candies i kind of got into them on the way home and to try them out but they come in um blackberry peach and strawberry and they just looked delicious and i like to have a little hard candy in my craft room so when i'm crafting if i just want something to keep my mouth moist then i like to have those plus i did buy some cellophane and i don't know if you've seen um the video that i sent to tina and i wrapped some candies in cellophane and i thought this would be really really cute to do that and maybe make like a lay like a Hawaiian lay and make a circle so I think I'll have fun with that and I know I'm missing something that I really want to show you but I don't know what happened to it I'm sure it's here somewhere I kind of went crazy and in the baby section, I ended up breaking down and buying the spoons. I have never seen these colors and I loved them. Uh, this is kind of like a moss green, the peach and the blue. And a lot of collections are coming out with that blue. And I was inspired by Nettie's creation. And if you're watching, hi Nettie, um, you inspired me to make some dangles and use these for some sequence. So I did get those. And I just picked up some adhesive little dots. If you haven't used these, I highly recommend them. They work great. 
and check this out new clear stamps you are an inspiration for a true friend may good things grow all year long thank you for your kindness i fell in love this with this i love dragonflies i um i have a dragonfly tattooed on my wrist and it's personal but there's a special meaning behind it and I fell in love. So I did pick up two of those. And for all that know me, I also love bees. And this is new. Such happy news. So glad we're family. Miss you. Best of luck. Stay wonderful. You're the nicest. So I am really excited to try those out. And I found this one. It says, just a note, happy birthday, I like you, thank you. Time for a happy dance, I love that. Sending a card instead of a text. And I, I really like that and I love sending happy mail. So I just had to have that. And they did have a couple more, but I wasn't, I'm not a big stamper, and I really just didn't need it, so I didn't pick them up. And I found this. And how cool is this? The alphabet and numbers. Let's see. Alphabet and number stamps. Oh, so here's the numbers down here. I'm like, where are the numbers? So uppercase, lowercase different fonts for a dollar 25 I thought this was amazing so I picked up one of those and I should have picked up more because sometimes we need double and like two E's or two A's but I mean you do have your different fonts in upper and lower and they have stamping blocks how cool is that for a dollar 25 I couldn't believe it and mine had these two different ones I like the grid so that you can line up your like stamps right so I should have picked up a couple more I just was so surprised and I picked up this tulip and it's like 3d and I thought this would be really pretty to paint and stick in an envelope or just send and say happy spring i don't know just it's just one of those things i saw and thought i'd pick up for my stash i picked up one of these um i think we all have this in our craft room but i picked up another set mine always seems to run out and I picked up some stickers. I'm not a big sticker person, but I thought these were really pretty. Look at the bike and I just, I'd like to have something like this laying around and um, embellish fun, um, just embellishments, so. And it always seems like travel is a big, um, I do a lot of traveling things and I just thought this would be cute for my stash. So I'm sorry for the glare again. And then this, believe in yourself, happy little moments. Life is lovely. I really liked this one as well. So I have those. Now, I am always looking for pins, so I've been really kind of on a spree of picking up pins, but these look like corks, like cork boards. And they come in cute colors, really. Let's see. But I've never seen anything like this. 
and I just thought, how fun, right? And it feels like it, I mean, it's cork. Let's see how it writes. Um, if I can find a piece of paper around here. Um, wow, it writes really nice. I like that. It just scribbles. So I'm happy with that. And you get three of them. Colors are great. You could probably even embellish these and put something cool there if you wanted to. And another tulip and a flower. How cool is that? I think this would be really pretty, like a white and yellow or vice versa. So I can't wait to play with that. And then I found these. I'm not sure if they're going to be a good find or not, but they're like a chipboard, so they're kind of heavy, but lemon, orange, watermelon, and I thought, how cute for an embellishment. A lot of collections have the fruit, and I thought, it doesn't hurt to pick them up and have them in my stash. And I have this one. And it's in with all the Hawaii type looking thing um, theme right now. And you could even hang like a dangle and um, some Hishi beads. Look at that drink. Doesn't that just look so summery with the pineapple? And look at that popsicle. Doesn't that look yummy? And the watermelon. So I just thought that these were super cute. And I've never seen anything like them. Maybe they've had them before and I just have never seen them. The ice cream cones. The lemonade. Look at that lemonade. Super cute. And the pineapple. How cute. So these would be really cute to embellish and just make for a swap. So I'm really happy with that. And then I believe the last, mm, the last things I bought is like I said, I'm going to San Diego next week for our son lives there and uh, he has a really nice pool and we just want to get away and just relax and float in the pool and have fun. So I bought some funky rings. And when I was checking out, the lady at the Dollar Tree said, I'm surprised you found these. She said, it's their number one thing people are taking, stealing, because it's the biggest trend. And I had kind of seen some people wear them. And I thought, how cute for summer, like, I don't know if you could put them on your toes or paint your nails and um, and have a colored ring. So I just thought that was really cute. And then I thought, well, this kind of matches. Some of these match. And so I broke down and bought all these elastic hair ties. And I thought, how fun. And they're really cute. So... <laughs> I'm kind of geeky that way. I just like to be, um, have fun. I could put my uh, toe rings on and just live it up, get a tan. So, um, so that's my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little long, lots and lots of fun goodies. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you hit that button and I will see you on the next video. Oh, wait a minute. To win this, I almost forgot I was having so much fun. I am going to stuff this to as much as I can. And it's not just going to be Dollar Tree um, things. I have hauled some stuff from Timu and other places. And I just want to um, pick a winner and just 
say thank you for following along with me and um, supporting my channel. And all you have to do is leave a comment and put adorable in the comment. And I am going to draw on Sunday evening or Monday morning. So um, watch out for the announcement. So remember, you just have to leave the comment adorable for a chance to win a really fun gift. So thank you again for watching. Have a great Friday night and um, have a great weekend. Bye.